Hello and welcome. This is the Betty Blocks Essentials course for the back office. In this course, I'll be going over how to create grids, views, and how to insert data in your back office based off your data model. The data model I use in this video is the project management data model, which I have created in the data model essentials course. If you want to jo join along with that data model, view that course, else use your own data model and tag along for the back office creation. You can find the back office underneath the back office icon on the left hand side in your builder bar. If you open the back office, a new window opens up with the back office feature from Betty Blocks. And the first thing you see is some sections and some predefined views. And let me explain to you why these are here. This is the desktop section which holds the manual for your application. This is a manual that you can fill in yourself for anyone that uses your application's backend. Beneath that, you can find the settings section. These headers that you see over here, desktop and settings are called sections. And the ones you see beneath those are called views. Here we have the user view, where you can see the users that are in your application that can use the backend of your application. So users you see in here, if they have the correct rights and or roles, can view your actions, your data model, and anything behind the scenes, basically. Beneath that, you've got your roles view. Roles allow you to, well, give your users certain rights in your application. You can give a user a certain role that allows him or her to see data that other people cannot see. For example, you have the admin role. An admin is allowed to look into your application's actions, to look into your application's data model, and someone in my application right now with the management role is not allowed to do that. It is important to know what roles there are in your application because what we're going to do in the back office right now is we're going to create views that allow us to show project and task data from the data model that I have created before this. This data model will have data and I want to show that data in my back office and I need to assign a role to that data. That means that a certain role can look into that data and maybe some other roles cannot look into that data. So let's start off with creating a grid. You can create a grid by turning on builder modus. And builder modus can be turned on by toggling the builder mode switch in the top left corner or you press the E button on your keyboard. This toggles builder modus or your, yeah, your builder modus on or off. This allows you to make certain changes in your back office. And the essential changes that we will be talking about right now is adding grids and grid views so that you can insert data in your back office. So the goal right now is to create a grid for our project and our task model so that we can show data and insert data, of course, from these models. So to do this, click the add grid button and a view with settings for this new grid will pop up. First, the model of which you want to create a grid. So in this case, we first want to create a grid for our project model. I'll call this my projects grid. This will hold my project data. And I'll create a new section for this called project management. And the roles that I want to allow to view this data will be admin. And we also have another role in this application called management. In your application, the role will probably be called a different name. You can change the name of a role yourself or create new roles. And you can add those roles in here, in your settings. So these roles are allowed to view project data. We don't need any uses. If you want to filter your data, you can create a filter here as well or set an order for your filter. I don't want that for my use case right now. I do, however, want to set an icon so let me select the envelope icon for my projects just to make it a little more visually appealing and save it. So this right here is our project management section with our projects view. This is the way some uh, a developer will be able to look at it via builder modus. And if you turn it off, anyone without development rights so anyone who will look into your application 
who cannot develop or who does not have the access to develop, will look at your application like this. So without the yellow bar and the other options. So let's insert some data in our, to, into our application by pressing the new button. The new button up here will create records of data for our project model. So if I press new, as you can see, we have created a we have a description in our model. We have an end date, an image, a name, a status, and a user that can be connected to this project. So let me fill in a description. The description for this project will be because it's a messy house. Because the project name will be clean the house because you really don't want to see mine right now because it's messy. <laughs> and as you can see, the end date um, is next month. In the data model course, I've shown how you can uh, predefine a set date if you do not want to fill in a date yourself. So right now, it's already set a month ahead. Well, I'd like to have a little more time to clean my house, so I'll just take two months. Let me add an image. So here we go, select an image. The status will be new because I haven't started yet. And the user that will be connected will be myself because I'm responsible for cleaning my house. Let's save this. And as you can see, I cannot fill in a total amount of tasks or a total amount of time because these are expressions. These will be filled in automatically by calculations, but the rest which we filled in ourselves are showing right now. So. What you see right here is a record of data, the first record of data, and the detail view, which holds all of this data, the information for this data. So let me just quickly add some more data for testing. So right now we have some test data for our projects, but we also would like to create some tasks for our projects. So for this, we're gonna create the task grid. So enable builder mode, click on add grid. This time we have to select the task model. I'll name it tasks. I'll leave it under the project management section. And let me select the, uh, the heart icon and save. So right now, the task section will be created. And we can immediately start to add a new task. If I press the new button while builder mode is still on, then you see I cannot enter anything. There's just the options to change some settings in the form. To enter data, you have to turn builder mode off and this allows you to enter data. So. The name for my task that I want to connect will be vacuuming because it is dusty. Uh, it's not complete yet because I still have to do it, of course. And the project that I want to connect is clean the house. And as you can see, clean the house pops up because we have already created a project and because of the relation we have between the two models, it knows that there is a clean the house project. So select this, time spent. I haven't spent any time in it, so I don't have to save it. Click on save, and there we go. So now I've created a project with a task. And this way I can create way more. So I can say, well, do the dishes, because we need plates. Also for clean the house, the clean the house project and I can save this. So right now, this means that our Clean the House project has two tasks. And well, how can we view that? Well, via projects or via any of your grids, you can also make subviews. As you can see, the total amount of tasks that we have is counting up. So that, that's correct already, but I'd also like to have an overview. And that's, that's something you can create called a subview. So turn builder modus on again. And here you can see the add subview button in the right corner. If I click on add subview, it automatically 
adds the possible possible sub subviews that are connected via relation, so tasks or user. So let's create a tasks subview. And here I can say, well, we have already created a view for tasks, so I would like to reuse the way this view looks. So tasks one, don't need any of the other settings, press save, turn builder modus off again. And as you can see right now, two, tasks in our sub view. And I, if I click on this sub view, then another view opens up with the two tasks that I've just created. So this, way, this is the way that you can enter your data in your back office. So if you've created a data model and you would like to quickly show some data, quickly insert some data in your application, open up your back office, create grids for the models and insert the data. If by any chance you have changed something in your model and you cannot immediately find the data you want to show up here. Click on any of the records that you have or press new. Open builder modus and look into the form and here you can see the add component button. This way you can add items from your data model or you can well remove items yourself and add them again later on. Just so you can change the way your form looks by yourself. These are the essentials for the back office. Thanks for watching.